We are walking around our neighborhood. Grayson has his astronaut Halloween costume on. Yeah. Yeah, because he worked preschool today. They had their Halloween party today. Yeah. And they went on a parade around the school. Yeah. Come on, let's keep walking. Come on. He's just like stopped in somebody's driveway. Come on, let's keep walking. <laughs> Um, his new favorite thing is to go around the neighborhood and draw random letters all over the sidewalk. <laughs> you can see it over here. I'm sure people walk around and they're like, what is going on? This is what he does. He just draws letters, each letter <laughs> for each sidewalk tile. And he can only get to F because then when he tries to do G, he just can't quite do it. G's kind of hard. So then he starts over. <laughs> so that's what we do. We're working on G, but it's kind of frustrating for him. Tonight is trick or treat. So Columbus, I'm sure I've told you all this before. Columbus is weird. It's like the only place I know that does this. If Halloween falls on a weekend, they move it to the Thursday before. So since Halloween is on Sunday this year, um, trick or treat is today, Thursday the 28th. They did that last year and they did that day, the year before. So we are doing trick or treat tonight. Um, I don't mind it. Some people are against it, but it's fine. So we are doing trick or treat tonight. Uh, like I said, Gray had his Halloween party today. Yeah, it sounds like he had a fun time. They each got up orange Oreo cookie and some popcorn and they went on a parade around the school. Normally they would let parents go and watch the kids parade around but because of COVID they weren't allowing that. So they promised to take lots of pictures. I'm still waiting on those to get in but I think he had a really good time. Um, he said he saw a fairy and another astronaut. It does look like a U and um, a firefighter so um, lots really cute when I went to go pick him up at the end of preschool they were playing Halloween music outside so it's really cute a it is beautiful weather right now it's sunny and warm um, there's a potential for rain tonight so I'm hoping the rain holds off trick-or-treat is from 6 to 8 tonight um, and it's supposed to start raining at like 5 <laughs> so I hope the rain holds off for at least an hour gray is only gonna last like 20 minutes so we just have to do a couple houses and then he'll be done with it because he goes and he gets the candy and he likes it but he doesn't even really eat the candy yeah what are you gonna do tonight gray mm -hmm. you're gonna go trick-or-treating yeah. you're gonna go knock up walk up to the door and go knock 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 and then you say trick or treat trick or treat and then they give you candy and then what do you say thank you thank you yeah so he's got it down we've already done trick-or-treating a couple times at um, our city had a Halloween event and then we did Boo at the Zoo. So he's done trick-or-treating before and then of course he did it last year. But um, usually every year on trick-or-treat night, it's usually horrible weather. Last year it was raining and freezing. I think the year before was super bad wind. So we'll see if it rains tonight or not, but we're gonna do it and we're hosting. All my siblings are gonna come. Well, the ones that live in town anyway. I have some siblings that live in Cincinnati that can't make it because it is a Thursday. My parents are gonna come over. My mom made chili. I'm gonna try and make this Halloween puppy chow. I will link it below if you guys are interested in knowing the recipe. It just popped up my Facebook feed. So I'm gonna attempt to make it. I've never made puppy chow before. I love eating it. Usually I make my sisters make it every Thanksgiving-ish. Um, so this year I'm gonna try to do it myself. It's Halloween themed because I'm gonna put in like Halloween M&Ms and candy corn and Reese's peanut butter cups. So I'll let you know how that goes. I might film us like trying to make it. Maybe I'll have Gray help me make it after nap time. So we'll see. Say hi Gray. Hi Gray. Okay, so like I said, I'm going to make Halloween puppy chow with Grayson. Porter's taking a nap. So I thought I would do it now while he's sleeping. So this is kind of what it's going to look like, minus the eyeballs, I could not find eyeballs, but everything else will be there and that's what it's going to look like. So I just found this website online and we're going to try it. We've got the rice checks, candy corn, chocolate chips, Reese's peanut butter cups, 
and M&M. &M. So we will make it. M&M. &M. So we're going to follow the recipe on the back of here and then add in the other stuff later. So here's the recipe. So what do we have to do first? First we got, yep, we got to pour the cereal into the bowl. So here we go. Ready? This is going to be messy. We need a fourth cup of butter. Okay, so we need to put this in for one minute. We need to get a vanilla. Vanilla. Person job. Like I need somebody to hold the bowl and somebody, now I know why my sisters do it together. Because somebody holds the bowl and then somebody holds the bag. I don't really trust Grayson to help me. <laughs> if you guys know what I mean. Hopefully I'm not getting chocolate all over my sweater. I don't know if you guys can see me or not, but I'm <laughs> putting it into the bag over the sink. Okay, I put it in here, and so now I need to add one and a half cups of powdered sugar. This sugar. Right here, this is powdered sugar. Okay, so we're going to do about a cup and a half. <laughs> oh, I just need my mess. <laughs> oh, and I literally just cleaned too. It's fine, I'll clean it up. The problem with powdered sugar is it can get a little messy. I literally just mopped. Ah! 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 Okay, let's go. bag and toss. much powdered sugar. 
sticker everywhere. <laughs> Can you shake it? Can you shake the bag for me? Shake the bag. Oh, good job. Keep shaking it. Make sure that powdered sugar gets all mixed up. Oh, good job. Is it bad if I put it back in this bowl? Yeah. We're going to pour it back in. It's going to be like, turn to a blister. Oh, chow. That turned gray. They did turn gray, yeah. It's supposed to be a little more white. But that's where you would usually end with making regular puppy chow, but now we're going to make it Halloween. So we're going to add candy corn, Reese's peanut butter cups, and M&M's. So I think I messed up because all of these are um, covered. So I think I'm going to have to unwrap every single one and put it in there. And of course they only have party pack left because it's the day of trick or treat. So all of the candy was gone. So this might take me a second. Maybe I just won't use this. You know, I just don't think I will because I just feel like it's going to melt. Like they're going to get sticky. I'm not going to do this. I'm just going to put this out for the trick-or-treaters tonight. Because, yeah, I just, I don't have a good feeling about it. So, anyway. So, here is our Halloween puppy chow. No. Do you like it? Yeah. Grayson's been taste testing it. He thinks it's pretty good. It made a lot. I think we're going to have a lot of leftovers. So, it's cute. Very Halloween-y. Uh, the only thing I didn't add was the Reese's Peanut Butter Cups. I just felt like that wouldn't go. I just feel like they're going to melt or disintegrate. I just don't think it's a good idea. And then the candy eyes, they didn't have that at Target. So, Do you like it? Yeah. Now I just need to clean up this whole mess. I need to clean this whole mess. Yeah. Dana, 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 Dana. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. Clap, clap. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. Day. We had so much fun trick-or-treating last night. Um, my siblings came over, my parents came over, all the dogs came over. I think we had four dogs over. So it was a packed house. My mom made chili. We had that. It was good. I made that um, Halloween puppy chow that I showed you guys. Everyone really liked that. This is kind of what we have left. Here's the puppy chow and then I got chips. I obviously got way too many chips. And I got a whole bunch of dipping chips because I had salsa and I forgot to bring out the salsa till like 
at the end. So that's why we have a lot of those left, but it was great. Gray had so much fun trick-or-treating. It was really nice warm weather, like 63 or something. Like I wasn't wearing a coat at the beginning, which is wild, but we got about 20 minutes in and then it started to rain and it started soft, but then it actually got really, really bad and was like really downpour rain. So poor Gray, he wanted to keep going, but then when the rain started, he was like totally done with it. So um, we went to a good amount of houses. He got a lot of candy. You know, he's three. He doesn't even eat that much candy anyway. So it's still in his bag. He's had one candy today. He had a couple candies last night when we got home. He's kind of on our sugar high and Porter's been benefiting <laughs> off all the candy that Gray has brought home. But yeah, other than that, um, we just had a great night. Um, Grayson was an astronaut. Porter was an alien. Yeah, it was a great, other than the rain, um, which was fine because he's three, he doesn't really care, and Porter did not want to do trick-or-treating. Porter went to one house, and that was it. He just wanted to stay with me. He didn't even want to keep his costume on. So, <laughs> we have lots of candy, candy filling this whole thing, and then Grayson's um, basket is over there. That's full of candy, too. Gray is over there watching some Blue's Clues this morning. Unfortunately, it's supposed to rain all day. It rained all night last night, and it's supposed to rain all day today and all day tomorrow. So, uh, normally we'd be going outside a lot, but because it's raining, it's gonna be a lot of TV today, unfortunately. So, but it was a great Halloween. It was super, super fun. Um, kind of weird that it wasn't on Halloween. I think our plans on actual Halloween is we're gonna do Boo at the Zoo again with my sisters. So I'll have to videotape that when we do that. But yeah, that's the end for 2021 Trick or Treat. Another year in the books. We'll see what the boys are next year. Porter will be walking. I think he'll be way more into Trick or Treat. I can just picture him just running after Grayson trying to keep up with him. So that'll be so fun to watch. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know down in the comments below what were your kids this Halloween. Um, give me some ideas for next year for brother matching like coordinating Halloween costumes. Hopefully at four, Gray won't have too much of an opinion and I can still do the coordinating outfits. Um, and I hope you guys have a great day. See you later, bye.